Hello everybody, I'm Jay Filio Plays, and I want to welcome you to a little game called Little Misfortune. And thank you so much for joining me, and let's go ahead and start the new game. And he just opened a portal, like a whole new rift, to the other side. So I guess death sent him here. Man, I'm gonna love this game already. I can just Welcome see. Welcome to my game. I'll be your host and humble narrator. The rules of this game are simple. Play it until the end and you'll be rewarded. Play until the end and we'll be rewarded. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you, and a little bit for me. <laughs> oh, the sad part is, today is the day she will die. Huh, I can hear you, you know. <laughs> oh, you can? Are you inside my head or something? Hmm... Well... Okay. Yes. <laughs> Alright. I'll call you... Mr. Voice. O what did you say about me dying today? Die? No. Nobody said anything about anyone dying today. <laughs> Nobody said nothing? You know, I have prepared a game for you. A game? Really? For me? If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. Deal? Eternal happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. Okay, it's a deal. Oh. Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to play? Yes. Your first mission is to leave the house. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Yo, so it seems like we just made a pact with the devil. I don't know if you guys seen, well, of course you've seen that. I don't like this guy already. I can tell he's kind of sketch. Look, I made these paper dolls myself. This is Kimberly and this is Steven. They're on a trip fighting super evils. Yo, can we not? talk about this unicorn uh, monster thing this thing is wicked nice glitter <laughs> my glitter oh sweet we gained an item i think that looks sick by the way i can tell you like before the narrator cut me off <laughs> i'm going to love this game and i'm super excited to play it you guys have no idea Uh, wants me to throw glitter. Okay, sparkle, bitch. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I, I have another name for that. Stripper glitter. I like to move my body. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the music that goes on forever. Look. 
This is my secret hiding spot. Oh, impressive. But why do you need a hiding spot? I don't like it when mommy and daddy argue too much. And when I come here, I can dream and travel far away. I see. <laughs> Yo, they, they got little toys in there. It kind of looks like little Roblox toys. I love my coloring book. Uh, first choice, huh? I'll take coloring book with you, leave coloring book. Yeah, we're going to take it with us. I don't know who Bubsby is. I'm gonna take it with me if I get bored, okay? This is Bubsy, the guardian of the secret spot. You see his eye? He got that from a battle against a monster. A monster? That sounds scary. It was. Oh, so he took the book from the teddy bear. Sorry, Bubsy. This is my diary. Nobody's allowed to read it. Want to see? Oh, look at the diary. This too, uh... I'm gonna have to use the word cute. I like to play a lot with the toys. I like to talk to them because it's fun. Hello, diary. At school, I drew and... At home... What? At school, I drew and at home, I was... At my hiding spot, talking to Busby, and I heard it. Kind of almost feels like a text that you would read from like a kid. This is this is this is cool. I saw a fox walking outside my room. He's called Benjamin, I think. All right, you know what? There's a lot of pages here, so I'm I'm not gonna read it all for you. But go ahead and give a pause. Oh, that's pretty cool. A little heart throwing up. Tell you what, as a kid, man, I never had any art skills. I, I was always the one that drew a stick figure and everyone laughed at it. True story. <laughs> so I, the art that is made for this game, man, I appreciate it. And the developers, you know, they put a lot of heart and soul into it. And you can tell already just in the first 10 minutes. I made a real nice drawing there, you see? Yes. Very nice. I did a coloring too. Impressive. I peed in the lake. It was really warm. Look at that picture. I was such a baby. Very cute. I was now such I'm a baby. Such a lady. I'm a little lady. That's what I am. It's funny how kids can grow up like two years and then they think they're grown up and <laughs> from from like two years and then they're like look at me how small I was all right enough of that how do we uh this is Bobsy. oh we the already talked you about see his eye? a monster that sounds scary it was look I drew this picture it's the fox I see outside my window sometimes I call him Benjamin. He's a really cute fox. Ugh. I don't care much for foxes. Huh. So it sounds like the narrative guy does not like... foxes. Oh, we gotta figure out... How do I... This is my diary. No, I don't want to see your diary again. I'm trying to figure out how we get out of here. Ah, maybe the door. Before you leave, which toy do you choose to bring with you? Can't I take them both? No, you can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important than you think. Okay, I choose... Uh-oh, another unicorn or the stone? I say we bring the unicorn, because we've been seeing him a lot. What do you guys think? Yeah, unicorn? I choose my soft and beautiful unicorn. Perfect. You can never go wrong with a magical unicorn. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Yo, the stone would have probably been good for knocking somebody out. 
I'm kind of regretting the unicorn. Look at that face. <laughs> ah, and so you know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, happiness to everything! Glitter, bitch! Hey, you. On the other side of the screen. Me? Remember I told you she was going to die today? Yes. Let's keep that a secret between us, alright? Okay. Hey, you're going to die today. This is Grandma. She wears a diaper too. <laughs> you still wear a diaper? Nah, that was so last year. <laughs> Mommy likes to collect glasses. I broke a couple once by running too fast. Did Mommy find out who did it? No, but I had a piece of glass in my foot for like five days. Sorry guys, I have to click on everything that I see. I mean, I think that's the best way to <laughs> enjoy the story. Oh, please don't fall down. Damn it, it's all broken now. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect please don't tell on me don't worry you can trust me okay thank you hmm maybe i could try to fix it yeah let's fix the broken vase why not i'm gonna do it i'm doing it oh god what did i click on we're not ready for the first puzzle. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to call my wife in here. <laughs> She's good at this stuff. Oh good God. Okay, okay, we got this. All right, we're doing it. We're working it. Okay, that still don't go there. And this one. Yes, sir. Puzzles. Where the f why does this piece look like it oh, okay hold on yeah I don't think we can rotate the pieces though that's the that's what's really getting me right now. Hold on, we're on to something. And boom, just like that. I did it. And just like that. <laughs> Sweet. Look, that's me. Mommy told me I have to smile, even when I'm sad. My daddy's friend was a hunter and killed this moose. His daughter, Erica, she thought his gun was a toy. She said bang bang to her mommy and daddy. Then her parents died, and she was so sad. <laughs> yeah, I like how they, they're pretty much detailing every single thing. It's going to be hard to get out the house at this point. We're, I mean, everything we walk Ugh, by is something to it look at. smells like cigarettes in here. Yeah, that's my mommy. She also likes to drink juice a lot. <laughs> well, are you ready to complete your first mission? Yes, I am. 
I'm gonna get that prize. Oh, that rabbits again. When will Daddy learn I like them alive? Mommy, this smells really bad. What is it? Dead animals. That's what it is. Yikes forever. Throw some glitter. Wait, what does that mean? Yay! Happiness to the soup! <laughs> oh damn, so we got like kind of a, a positive feedback from tossing glitter on something dead, maybe? Or, or... I don't really exactly know how that works, but... We had a lovely dinner last night. Mommy wasn't that drunk and Daddy actually said hi to me. So it sounds like dad's an ass. When I grow up, I want to be just like my mommy. A juice drinker. A juice drinker. I'm not so sure that's juice, little one. That's today. Yeah, can we sprinkle glitter on mom? Oh shit, we can. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. And just off of that, like, it envisions, like, how, like, kids see our, us as parents or whatever. You know what I mean? And she's got the crown. She's, she's a superhero. And I have to say, man, my, my dad, my mom, they're, they're my superheroes for sure. Tell mom you're leaving? Yeah, why not? Mommy doesn't give a shit. Good day, morning. It's afternoon, Miss Fortune. Ah, okay. Good afternoon, morning. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty Remember cool. Remember Benjamin the Fox? This is where I first saw him. He was hiding in the trash and we made eye contact. It was really intense. Yes, you told me about that fox already. You shouldn't trust a fox. They're all criminals. What? A fox criminal? <laughs> That's silly. So, right off the bat, this narrative guy, he really does not like foxes. What up? This pool smells like a toilet <laughs> because I pee on it. <laughs> Yeah. That is disgusting. Not as disgusting as when my daddy puked in it. That was disgusting. <laughs> That's gross. This is where daddy often sleeps. Daddy? What? Dad sleeps in my car? Can we glitter it? Yo, I think that's like making our heart pure. Which is so, cool. Before we continue, you need to know the rules of the game, Miss Fortune. Alright. Remember, you will be given choices on your journey. Okay, choices? There is no right or wrong, only consequences. Okay, okay, only consequences. When you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I'm ready. Your next mission is to cross this road. All right, I can do that. Look to the left, look to the right. Any course? No. Okay, I'm going. What the hell? <gasps> What monster? I didn't see anything. It was there. I saw it. It's probably just your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. We'll have so much fun. All right. <laughs> so this whole time we've been lured away from our house by this mysterious voice. I'm not buying it, but I know we can glitter this thing. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go now.
All right. This is going to be awesome. And from my understanding, I think the game is only about two hours, three, three hours. I don't know. I like to click on a lot of stuff, so it might be a full three hours. And we're going to break it down into parts. And also, we are still going to be doing Resident Evil Village this week and Alan Wake. a puppy. Hello, puppy. What a cute party hat. Now focus, Miss Fortune. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. All right. What to do with the puppy? Do we play with it or we set it free? Well, I'm not going to set it free. I mean, it could be someone's dog, right? Let's play with it. I will play with it, so we can share a nice time together. Good choice. Now throw the ball at it. What ball? This ball. Ah, that ball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. Damn it. <laughs> what did I do? It's all broken now. God. Mr. Voice, everything I touch breaks. What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Sometimes life is just unfair. But I'm here. <laughs> really? Thank you. Well, sadly, the puppy will miss the party now. What party? The owner of this dog, George, is having a party. I think you have to go and tell him about the accident. What accident? Ah, uh, yes, the puppy, yes. Let's go. It's just a bit farther ahead. All right. Dude, what are we supposed to tell him? That we threw a ball and hit a tree and a freaking branch fell out and crushed your dog? <laughs> Get some glitter, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, so I can already say this is wild and when we're thinking we're making the right choice we're gonna we're gonna mess up because i even said i was like well let's not free the dog because he can get ran over he can run away let's just play with it something innocent and he got killed i'm sorry i broke you puppy i really am maybe we can play later you know when i'm broken too a uh, little heart popped up. I'll take the party hat as a symbol of our friendship, puppy doggy. Okay, well we got a party hat out the deal. Sorry, pup. Oh no, I step on doggy doo. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> doggy doo. Oh sweet, I can see my footprint. Let's see what came out. I see a lot of glitter around. Is that rice pudding? <laughs> I can't watch this anymore. Please, let's keep moving. Glitter! Yeah, the owner's gonna love hearing this. Sorry about your dog, but he's been crushed. Oh, what is that? That sign doesn't work. Do you see all the crap lying around? Oh, That's a good signs. observation, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. So, Miss Fortune, at the other side of this lake, you will be one step closer to the prize of eternal happiness. And that party, right? Ah, yes. That too. Can we do anything about the trash? Yeah. Probably not, yeah? You know, once at this lake, 
I got my head stuck in a plastic bag. I remember falling asleep and waking up in the hospital. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, I almost died. What? Did we just get picked up by crows? Uh, what's happening? I think you're in big trouble, Miss Fortune. Yeah, tell me about it. Where are these birds taking me? I have no idea, but you have to do something about it, fast. Alright. Uh, kick them in the balls or throw glitter at them. Let's throw glitter, we can blind them. Okay, my glitter is shiny. So if I throw glitter at the birds, they will only see shiny. And they will get confused and leave me alone. That sounds like a solid plan, Miss Fortune. Alright, here I go. Why oh, you dropped us? <laughs> this is taking a long time. We didn't even go that high up. Well, time seems to slow down when we are in danger. Am I in danger? Is that the middle hey, finger? Look, a birdie! Hello, birdie! Oh, that was a rude bird. Oh, what the hell just happened? Oh, why didn't I break my legs and die? Mm, you seem very good at falling. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> He's like, damn it, you're still alive. So, Mr. Voice. Is the party on the same line to the eternal happiness? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, that's convenient. Have you thought about how to break the news to George? About the puppy? Yes. I mean, if you want to. Uh, will you tell George about the puppy accident? You know what? Yes. We're going to be honest with our mistakes. Yes, of course. That's the least I can do for the sweet puppy. That is very brave of you, Miss Fortune. Thank you. First off, why is George way over here, though, and his puppy was like 10 miles back? Oh, look! A boat! Hello! Are we there yet? Just a little bit farther away. Ah, okay. Ah, uh... oh, a fish! What should we do about it? Uh... Damn, these decisions are actually really hard. I mean, inside of me, I'm, I want to release it. But my other part is like, well, let's bring it with me. Damn it. We're going to bring it. I'll keep it. His name is Rodrigo, and he needs a new place to stay. All right. I wonder if Rodrigo has heard about sushi. <laughs> it's like Rodrigo putting tiny pieces, you know? 